Welcome to Carabiner Inspection, the first in a video series on inspection, cleaning, and lubrication of DMM carabiners. Visit dmmwales.com to view the Carabiner Inspection and Maintenance PDF. Also reference the user instructions that were provided with your carabiner. Let's get started. First, inspect the body of the carabiner for abrasion, deformity, cuts, or sharp edges. You may wish to compare it against a new carabiner as a visual aid. Check the nose and the nose slot in the gate for proper alignment. Inspect the nose for any abrasion or heavy contact marks. Ensure that all relevant information markings are legible. Also inspect the gate and locking mechanism for any abrasion, deformity, cuts, or sharp edges. Ensure the hinge rivet is in position and in good repair. Open the gate and very gently wiggle back and forth to check for excess movement at the hinge rivet. Operate the gate mechanism. It should move freely with a smooth, quick action. Also listen to the sound of the barrel rotating. Gritty or scratchy sounds may indicate debris within the mechanism. Let's take a look at the parts that make up a DMM lock safe mechanism. Here we see the gate and the barrel. On the gate itself, we have a rotation spring and compression spring. With this cutaway, we can see the springs in action. Compression spring here for this motion, and the rotation spring, of course, for the rotation. This piece is called the spring pusher. Along with the spring pusher is another small compression spring inside the gate. Now that we've learned about the construction of the locking mechanism, let's inspect it for proper function. Open fully and allow to snap closed. Be mindful that you do not influence the action with your fingers. Simply allow it to close on its own. Next, open to about five millimeters away from the nose and allow to snap closed. Once again, being mindful not to influence the action with your fingers. Here we are assessing the timing and function without the inertia in the previous test. Lastly, open to halfway across the nose and allow to snap shut. Once again, being mindful that you don't influence the action with your fingers. This concludes the inspection process. If the carabiner has passed each of these inspection points, it may be placed back into service. Thanks for watching.